Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a senior program manager at Google. I work in Google Developer Studio and I oversee social strategy for all of our developer facing accounts. Uh, there are about 70 across Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and blogs. The purpose of our social media accounts is to, uh, and really for developer relations at Google, is to make the life of a developer easier. And so we're constantly you know, changing our technology, making upgrades, having different announcements, and our job in social is to keep people up to date, help answer their questions, and really make sure that they have all the resources they need to do their job. So earned media, the definition is kind of in the name. It is media that you've earned, meaning think about the buzz that you can create that happens organically. It's conversation that's happening out in the wild. Um, it's sort of similar to public relations where you're not creating that content, but you're influencing a journalist or a blogger to write about you. You're really trying to get people to have a conversation about your brand. If you can get your product to the right influencer and they organically start talking about you, then that can help you create a lot of buzz and generate uh, awareness to a new audience that you wouldn't have been able to reach otherwise. So Google Developer Studio, part of what we do is bring a community of developers together at events. And part of my job is to reach as many of those relevant developers and let them know about the event and uh, the announcements coming from that event. So as the developers are watching our content and having conversations about what they're seeing, then uh, that's exactly what we want, right? This is what we talked about is that natural buzz that's coming up with owned media. Since you own the channels, you really have the benefit of being as creative as you possibly can get. And you can control the narrative of what's being put out on behalf of your brand, whether that's your personal brand or the business that you're running. Uh, you can own your Twitter, your Facebook, your Instagram, your social channels. These are all different distribution networks that you own and control what goes out on them. With paid media, it's guaranteed that you have a specific audience that you wanna hit and you pay to hit that audience. The great thing about paid media is with uh, social networks like Facebook or Instagram, uh, especially for a local business, uh, a small budget can actually help make uh, quite a big impact. And some of the things that we can do with organic media, owned media, is test out the best kind of messaging and creative assets. And when something is starting to percolate and gain traction, we can use paid media to boost that content. And that's really a, a huge advantage to how you can use your own channels and make smart decisions about where to put your money using paid. There are so many different social networks and they each offer different benefits. However, once you've really found your niche and you know where your audience is and you're really owning that channel, the mix of using earned, owned, and paid on that one channel is going to get you much, much further than if you were only using one specific kind of tactic on that channel. So my best advice to somebody who's just getting into social media marketing is to go out there and just do it. And remember that your own channels are a reflection of your brand. If I am looking at someone's resume, I will absolutely go and look at their social media channels and see are, how are they running them? What sort of content decisions are they making? What sort of eye do they have for photography and creative? So you don't have to have big brand experience to impress me, but I definitely like to see what kind of decisions you make on your own channels and how you've helped other social, other organizations on social media as well.